it's one of those conversations. How new is he really, right? He was part of the NXT roster. They have the NXT coach. They have JDC. They have Torji. Now they have Exertion. So it's more of the Academy roster than not. Talking well, point, we I'm go. sure we're going to dig into today. Mirage to kick things off and an A execution from Mousesport. Three players towards the Palace. We've got Dexter and Frozen with the utility at the A ramp and an uh, explosion towards the A side. We just shush to defend. He's alone in CT spawn, but the backup's coming. Yabby and Stan will come in through connector here. And here comes the pop flash and the execution. Okay, well, Shush under a bit of pressure here. He's called this one out. He wants to stand and fight, but you pull us to pepper it back and exertion. A great opener from him. First round of ESL Pro League for the young gun, and he finds the opener onto Yabby. Now the flash towards CT from Dexter. This is going to initiate the fight. There's one back the other way. Shush steps forward. Everybody's blind right now. The flash is no good, and Torji's starting to push in. The need to hold them at bay, but maybe this is enough for Maus. They're buying time. A lot of damage has been done here, but still plenty of time. Kadian with the dual Berettas, but it's not quite enough. JDC mowing them down towards spawn. Four versus two, and Kadian will have to find a couple more incisions that could have any sort of chance here. Time is of the essence. It doesn't look good. They might just have to save, but a lot of damage put out there. But that's going to be it. A nice clean round from Maus Sports. Four players surviving, presumably with the Bomb Blast here, and Stan will just have to save USP and armor chats. So there it is, just one player defending, a couple of smokes towards connector and jungle, and uh, one pop flash as they make their way out of Palace. Well, this is going to be a, a big first day of games. It's going to set the tone here for the group because we, we don't know who's going to be coming out on top of this one. You can kind of plant your flag, uh, make a, a bit of a statement of intent. I know this is a, a bold question. Do you have a favorite for the group? I Anyone truly you? don't. Like, if exactly, I had to yeah. pick one, I think it'd be one of these two. I okay. think because the, the and a lot of people are like, but Chad, what about Ents? What about Astralis? Well, the end situation, I haven't seen some Pius and Valder play within the team. I, I cannot give you a yep. clear understanding of how good they're going to be. And Astralis, they might be, what, fourth in the world on HLTV. Maybe it's fifth. Either way, they're... That they don't feel like that in my eyes at all. I think they're a top 10 team, but yeah. only just. Well, then, it will be the force buy back from Heroic here. They've got the Desert Eagles. 5-7, a scout. Double stack towards the balcony. And once again, probing towards a palace area. But our sports don't fancy it. They'll actually be falling back and leave exertion in position. Dexter is confirming there's no B pushes coming through yet. The apartments are clear. It's a bit of an A lean here from Heroic. Four players in total on this side of the map. Just Cadian holding towards B. And just pump the brakes. Just uh, feel the map out and see if there's any sort of CT aggression to kick things off. It's important between the two in-game leaders right now, that of Dexter and Cadian over towards B, to be, do the probing. Because we can see, now that there is a bit of intent over towards A, how far are they going to push the bark? It's JDC. Make his way out the ramp. Flashback in exchange here from Shush. Now, and Molly, they're smoked. They're starting to heat up here. Exertion's going to open up the account. JDC is going to be pinned down, and they're still looking for this fight on A. There's enough time to pull the ripcord and get the hell out of dodge. They don't have to commit here towards the A side. Yeah, I think they might have to. It's looking a little bit scrappy here. They haven't done too much damage upon arrival. We'll stick towards A for now. They seem to know there's another player towards the balcony position, but uh, that's a guaranteed kill for Dexter. 9-12 for the MAC-10. Things starting to look a little cleaner now, as Tess will be dropped to 40 HP. Held at bay by the smoke as well, but the bomb won't be planted just yet. They don't account for the scout towards short. Oh dear, Cadian needs to hit a couple more of those. I think he's been screwed at this point. Just trying to pit those shots away. The bomb will get planted, and that should be the round secured. That smoke that got thrown towards CZ, I think Cadian actually lobbed that out from range. Yeah. Because you saw the trajectory of it there, and it was to try and facilitate a bit of a one-way. Just going to have to hold on to this scout and try and use it into the next. Dexter's already... Kind of corner him here. You can see him going through the B apartments right now, making sure there's no avenue of escape. Frozen also over towards CT spawn to make sure he can't make his way out of the marketplace. Katie might be dead to rights here. Bomb still quite a while to go before it does detonate. How diligent is he? Well, not enough. Frozen pokes up his head. And that'll be it. It's a clean sweep for Maus 2-0 to start things off and should be the 3-0 conversion. Almost certainly. That was a force buy from Heroic. So uh, we do have a little technical pause here just to analyze what's gone on so far. The artist joining us at the opening game of Group C. Happy Wednesday to you. Hope you're enjoying your day. Let us know how you're watching the game at home with the hashtag ESL Pro League. And make sure you tag us on Twitter. <laughs> another time. A new segment that's been brought into the show. Uh, let us know what you think. But uh, for now, as mentioned, just USPs. A single flashbang for Shush. So as I said, a stack somewhere. They've chosen towards short B. And uh, we flashed in towards middle from the A side. That's where the flash resides. And you'll see a flash go over momentarily. They'll swing out. But it's all for naught, really. Mouse Sports are actually making their way towards the B side, so they can come in from short at least and uh, maybe grab a kill or two, but I dare say they'll be mowed down by the SMGs and rifles here, yeah, and indeed they will. Perfect choke point to find those USPs, and it's just 
it's uh, shouldn't need to stay alive. We'll get one and done. Now, Tessus, you've got a whole new job for the next 40 seconds. Let's hold on to this AK. Frozen, the hot pursuit here. Was he going to be heard on that jump? That's the big question. Tessus is at least acknowledging the presence as he gears up for a fight. Those beautiful looking mouse stickers on that AK looking tidy in gold. Tessus is going to leer in. And, oh, wow, that's one and Ooh. ADC will get the trade, but a good amount of damage right there. They'll scoop up the AK, so no issues for mouse and we can get underway with the first gun round. Yeah, pretty good, all things considered there for Heroic. Two kills, so it's close to three as well with the low HP. But uh, here we go then. Cadian whips out the big green, the AWP in his hands, and uh, a few concessions to be made. No kits so far, and uh, there it is. They've purchased one. Tessas has it, so keep track of that. And, of course, Torshi on Mouse Sports, an emphatic AWP. Aggressive, of course, will be looking to open things up here. I think this will be a great battle, actually. Yeah, I really like watching Torshi play. Me too. Nice to take a good fight, this young gun. And I think Kadian on the other side, there's always an eye or two on his orping prowess. We know he has the extra responsibility of being the in-game leader, but he's going to deploy a defensive smoke here. He'll block off the ramp for now, and they can either wait it out or go looking elsewhere as Heroica congregating towards middle here. Three players searching now under window, and this is Maus with quite a cookie-cutter response here. Just a very passive default, waiting for these CT aggressive maneuvers. Something that is, I would say, recommended versus a team like Heroic. Cadian with full mid control. Fight here. Exertion's got three on the plate, potentially. They are looking to finish towards A with some sort of split. You've got JDC coming from the underpass. Exertion, as mentioned, towards top of middle. We will see that AWP of Torchy open things up. That's towards Shush on the A bomb side. So, a double kill from Heroic. That mid presence working out quite nicely for them. They'll have to retake the A site. It's completely open at this stage. Utility will be dropped, and presumably the bomb will be planted. Tessa's coming in from spawn, but can't deny the plant whatsoever. So that'll be going down, no problem. Kadian will have to wait for the smoke to dissipate as well. And we're on. And just to know, Stan with a huge flank from T-Spawn. Yeah, this could be a difference maker right here. He's going all the way through the palace position. So it looks like they're going to give him time to work here. Likely he's going to catch Frozen with the back turned. It might come down to Dexter in this forward position towards Connector. There's the fight. It's down. He's the wrong timing. Frozen's going to get the better of him. In the meantime, Yabby onto Dexter. It's a two on three situation starting to ensue. And well, now it's just Torji. This AWP to light up the server here. The bomb halfway gone. Tessus sweeps out, cleans up the mess, gets the defuse, and they can pick the big green back up. Because Kadian, well, he's still alive. Don't worry about that. They're going to rock double AWPs early. Yeah. That's uh, an adjustment that's been made immediately. They clearly want that as part of the game plan. Two AWPs out the gates. Makes a lot of sense. Stan and Kadian to be rocking that. And that's. Uh... Could be quite tantalizing, I would say, but to his Yabby boosted towards the underpass. That mid control was very strong indeed. Once they smoked the bomb, there was no chance for the orbit to retake. And there's the first round for Heroic. As mentioned, double orb setup here. Money's still okay for Mouse Sports, losing a couple of players in the previous round. Meant they'll be having Galils for JDC and Exertion. But uh, his Shush, a bit of aggression towards the palace. Drops the flashbang in, uh, but decides to fall back. Just trying to suggest someone could be in there. Kadian. Just patrolling towards middle once again. Boys the flashbang and trying to get control of top of mid. That aggressive flash right there is going to stall out whoever's lurking in that palace position, right? If there's a flash, normally that comes with some aggression. So Torji, he will eventually get towards the tail end, but maybe not as quick as he would like. You window smoke and you post up and you hope a player walks across. Jungle, well, Torji, the jump from Yabi, heads up play there and now he's been spotted. This is a very basic play that I'm sure everybody's tried at home. Send yeah. the orphan palace to look for a peek. The molly, it's good. It's real good. Frozen burns down Shush. That's an opener on A again. We have got the AWP of Stan. He's in towards CT spawn. He'll have to deliver here. The turret will have to come online fully as it boosts up towards window. Exertion is trying to gut the defense here if possible. They'll be finishing up towards A once again. Shows his presence. Gets the information that Cadian's in towards the kitchen. And the steps are clear. Or are they? It's connector. Well, Yabi will lie. There's a little bit of damage, but uh, now they know exactly where he is. He's going to be mowed down momentarily. And there it is, nothing he could do. JDC with the perfect timing. Yeah, really taking their time with this, aren't they, Mouse? Just pulling Heroic apart of the seams, being a nuisance. And a flank again, it was beaten last time. This time round, Tassus is the man with the plan against Frozen, who's definitely not looking the right way on the reload. He goes down, his position's being given up. Torji under pressure, will hit a shot through the wall, and the repick right there. Why the hell not? You love to see a bit of pizzazz. Yeah. Jazz hands coming out early. They absolutely are. And they've uh, slapped Heroic in the face, Kadian. He'll surely be going down, and there it is. They bounce back. Very nicely done there for Mouse Sports. Four to one, money broken once again for Heroic. $3,000 per player. This is a great start on the T side. Everything you could hope for, really. And I dare say it's a partial buy for Heroic. This is how it all kicked off. The Molotov towards Sandwich. 
lightly toasted. Shush will be dropped. JDC, like we said, a pincer maneuver towards the A side. Everything just went perfectly well for them now. Yeah, it's a great round, well executed. And it's like pulling teeth in a way because they're, they're, they're in no rush. It's a bit like torture that right. the Mao's are doing to Heroic. We know that. Oh! Hang on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a dirty way to kick off the round, Stan. Thank you very much. That'll wake you up. They're shaking us back into control of this one is Zershan. He's going to do a lot of damage to Yabby here. He isn't completely away just yet, but the jump around the corner, the little leaps seem to be Yabby's best friend so far. And Shush has been activated with some aggression of his own. I don't mind He's this. roundabout's dead in the back. Should be oh, frozen. Should be. There it is. Puts it in. No dramas. Yeah, no dramas at all. Back to the four and four. As we said, this is uh, eco slash partial buy. A few players of armor, but mostly deagles, smokes. That's about it. All about the one digs. And we definitely had that delivered at the start of the round. Stan, for a beautiful shot towards Torchy. Removes the AWP at the start of the round. And uh, here we go. One minute on the clock. Just going to be feeling things out. Could be the beast, but this time, considering the position of JDC, but they favored this A bomb side time and time again. It is a B stack from the CTs. Just KD, and I say just, might be able to find himself a decent position here. JDC burns Yabby down. KD in the last line of defense, and I don't know how he gets away with that chat, but he has. And he's managed to get out, but not for long. Tess the last line of defense now. Uh, an exciting round, a couple of crazy one peaks in there, but ultimately it will be looking very good for Mouse Sports. Tess has given it a crack, right? The Lost Bonus has built, has an opportunity to go for this. He's at least prodding, taking a couple of shots. His position is noted here. The long game, the save, probably be the better of the two. He has an well, awful lot of work to do here. You can almost guarantee he doesn't have a kit in this situation. So even if you have to sacrifice one player when he's touching the bomb, he still has little to no chance of winning, right? So better off to save, if you ask me. He can maybe drop the AWP going forward as well. I do like that we're starting to get to a point. That, oh, oh, he's we, found it, maybe. Yeah, okay, he could scoop this up. Having a look. Having a look. Where? Where is there it, it is. Ah, the keen eyes of Tessus do find the AWP. But uh, I, I think in that regard, right, we, we've spoken about this concept a couple times before, right, the, the concept of going fishing, same kind of thing. He's having a look. If there's no bites, it's all good. I can still save, and walking away with the AWP is great. So it's, it's not a great round for Heroic, but it was only pistols, and this is how it started. So this is the one dig towards Torshi, I believe. Bang. Through the smoke, and then there was a crazier shot from Cadian as well towards the connector. It looked like he was kind of jumping up, and they even said in the chat, Nice shot, Cadian. His response was full panic, which, <laughs> which is fair enough. I, I don't think he was ready for that whatsoever, but uh, still gets the kill. They do some damage. You don't play Mirage. I don't like this map. No. I played one good map on it versus Titan all those years ago. <laughs> you retired that, at the top. Yeah, we just, we leave it there. Yeah, he said that will do. I'm never going to replicate that. Cadian, oof, a missed shot. Slips by the wayside. An opportunity to open things up there, but... Uh, We'll stick on the five and five. This is a broader comment about how this map's played out so far. When we were watching this, when we had like G2 in the server and FaZe in the server, there's a lot more argy bargy in mid early, right? A lot more True. utility, a lot more fighting for mid control. These teams are still throwing out the base utility, a window smoke, the connector CT smoke. They're having a bit of a biff, but there's not really the same prevalence of fighting in mid. It seems like they want to fight over towards A here. Yeah, this is a bit more active. On the front foot, Shush will get himself in towards a ramp. There's no one on the other side for now, actually. So Stan can post up and watch towards Palace. Katie will watch the connector. So it's a different setup, but uh, one I like. But towards the B bomb side we go this time. With such a lack of mid presence, the fact that they have still been able to force Heroic into this stance to either side means they've been able to achieve what they wanted wi without all the bodies, without yeah. all the U2. And now they can start to limp this out towards B. JDC entering in off the back of the U2, laser focused on that kill towards nice. Bench. But Yabby will alleviate that pressure. And now tucking tail, the mouse, they have to scamper here. They need a solution. They need an opening because there was only 35 seconds left on the clock. And yeah, that was perfectly held there from Heroic. The bait and switch towards the bench and bomb site. They got themselves a man advantage, a five versus four. You mentioned the time was low, and now they're in a lot of trouble. They hey, are baby. Molotov Dow from the bomb site. Five on three as well, a decent HE grenade. Doesn't yeah, find safe. any damage, but yeah, 20 seconds. I think you might be right here. They're falling back. Dexter towards T spawn, torching not far behind. Exertion feels like there might be a kill, but uh, there it is. It's going to be heroic post in their second. Very clean. Love that hold towards the B bomb site. Playing for information, dropping utility to slow them down. Take all the aggro towards the bench. You've got your teammate mowing them down as they try to enter. They think it's not even worth it. He won't be able to take him down there. There's no flash that will remove his presence. And there we have it. The CT starting to come to life now. They've got themselves AK-47s. And this was the crossfire talking about. You can see they're just focusing all towards that bench position. And then Stan, not molotov out this time. Comfortable towards Sandwich. Yeah, and then when you go for those type of plays, you're hoping to isolate fights. But uh, 
Lots of bodies on the sides there. Good crossfires from the Danish side. And well, now back in with another full by our mouse. There was enough cash to make this one work, but in the next round of play, if they don't save again, it's going to be looking a bit barren in the buy department. Same scenario, Dexter top mid, trying to sell this as a default round. This time it will be Cadian searching towards the A ramp here. Yeah, the Suns look more and more active on the CT side. Another slow paced round from Mouse Sports, however. More of a default as they try and hunt for that mid control. Grenade down towards underpass could catch Exertion off, but uh, he's fine for now. And the bombs are down in T spawn. So just waiting for any of that aforementioned CT aggression. None to be found, though. Just Cadian holding close to that all. Yeah, a bit more of a traditional default spread here from Mouse. One player on either of the extremities. You got JDC over towards B. You did have Frozen a bit closer towards A during all of this, and the other three were all posted around that mid corridor. But the call's being made from Dexter here, starting to regather. The bomb's being scooped. And I would say with the configuration they have right now, a B split could be very likely here. I think you might be right. Frozen picks up the bomb. JDC will be there in the B apartments with him. Exertion from the underpass will just throw a smoke towards Connector, removing all that vision, allowing them to make their way up towards short. So she just looking over it, seeing if anyone resides within that connector. This is a very important kill. Gabby will find it. That's time to fall back as well. They detected the B split. Now JDC to open things up if possible. But Tessess gets the better of him once again. But there's the split factor. Tessess backed up by Shush. Got a huge lead it's not here. Bad. Still a chance. That's a great HG grenade. Right, well, Stown's already forward here. He's in the thick of things. He might be able to deny this plan. It's a fake. They're going to step into it. And we frozen. Go. Heal annihilates down. They're setting up in the 2-1-2 two -two. at this point. There's lots of utility for Cadian. The pep in the step could be the problem here. He's flashed over. Shush will be able to at least find a line, but Torji's got his, and that's the number of Shush. It should be Cadian wanting to scamper on out of town. This one, I know the bomb's got a lot of time, but how are you getting into this? An AWP 180 degrees to clear. There's no way. Very well done from Mouseports. That was a 4-on-2 at one stage, but uh, Frozen, Torshi holds strong. Fake plants coming through, baiting the CTs, managing to eradicate them one by one, and they actually come out on top here. So that's going to be the sixth round for Mouse Sports. Cadian with no choice but to save the orb towards CT spawn once again. And you're right, Chad, the B split looking very difficult to manage. They even got the opening frag on the heroic side, but still one by one, they were taking down the pressure from the B apartments and the short area. No way to back it up. They were being split in half. So uh, there we have it. There's still enough money to buy on the CT side, but uh, they need to start posting some rounds at this point. It's half starting to get a little bit out of control. They should have another buy here, so uh, at least there's a chance to respond. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm sure she's going to smoke. You, you yeah. take those every day of the week. And even, even with, with that, that yeah. <laughs> not enough. Still not enough. Oh, that was dear. a four on two, but uh, that's the fake plan that yielded this kill. And that was the difference maker there. Torshi holding towards Kitchen as well. Once he nails that, all bets are off. And we go into round number nine. Maybe some mid aggression here. Cadian fancies that mid pick. And have exertion to deal with those. The flashbangs are exchanged and stand towards the underpass. It's very basic stuff from Mouse here, but if they were just to execute over towards A right now, the red carpet's rolled out. There's just the one defender of Shush overseeing business. He's not in a power position of Ticker or under the balcony. Actually flashes over top of mid. Cadian being put on a lot of notice here. Exertion needs to be careful about this. We've already seen slight aggression from Heroic around mid and more of a, an aggressive stance. And once they have the early info, look at this. B apps pushed, mid push. Now three players towards A. This is the reactive Heroic we know and love. Absolutely true. It's Stan that's got an information towards B, KD and patrolling middle. They can deploy a lot of their resources here towards A. The smoke forward CT spawn will be going in momentarily, but they've now got four players in the CT forces on this side of the map who will come out on top. It's looking very likely to be heroic. They've read it so well. Flashbanging towards the A ramp to try and gain some access here. JDC leading the charge with the incendiary. That's another seven seconds. They're held at bay. Frozen completely flashed off towards the palace position. And the CTs, they are smoked out for now, but they are holding them off. Stown might even catch the kill in the back here. Yep, every day of the week, and now they know they're boxed in. The only way is forward. Time, the biggest issue, and now just getting peeled apart the seams. Kadian will grab another. Torji will respond, and if they stand and bang, if they stand and trade, the kills might keep coming. It's just JDC now, left in a one-on-two situation, and that'll be it. Really good, aggressive play from Heroic across the map. They knew this one was coming before Mounds had even set their sights, so yeah. a great response. Hunting for that intel early on is what it's all about towards middle, towards the B apartments, and unfortunately for Mouse, they had no idea they'd been that isolated, running into the lion's den here. Four CTs, ready and waiting. They held them off so long as well. Those incendiaries, the HEs, a bombardment of utility, and uh, a very convincing round, just when they needed it as well. Like, 6-2 down on the CT side, that's not a great place to be. And uh, they've actually forced out a pretty weak buy here from Mouse Sports. It could just be a straight-up B play. Contact, I'm assuming, not the rush. I don't mind this. At least you're not going to have the info play against you if it's a bit quicker in the round. And here they come. 
The test says a very nice HG grenade doesn't actually connect, so it's up to the AWP, but they've actually got past. They've uh, gained access here. Kadian missing shots as well. It's down to Tessas. He's going to be sworn by those pistols, and the orb is not connecting whatsoever. Exertion with a chance, but the bomb, it will go down. Flashbangs, and Tessas doing a very good job showing tenacity here on the B bomb side. Can he hold on for one more? He does the damage, and Yabby will pipe in. It's going to be just a uh, 4 on 2 here for now. We'll see whether they can close things out cleanly. I think this should be a pretty simple finish now for Paul Frozen. He's getting peppered from all directions. Kadian had a few opportunities. Hey, look, he missed the shots, but he was still applying the pressure. So if we want to uh, try and find the silver lining to those misses, and that's it. And starting to settle into this. Only a two-round game at this juncture. I'm sure Heroic are going to be happy if they can get themselves up to an eight-round game. Well, here it is. SS going above and beyond for the squad. Lots of damage output there, and uh, shush to close things out, the AK-47. Few missed shots with the AWP, has to be said, but uh, as long as they win the round, no harm, no foul, I would say, and it's the full eco. So just a smoke towards the window here, and Cadian, please be careful, it's had the nade land behind him, I think, so we might have a chance to spray him down. I say spray, well, they've got clocks, and that's uh, an opening kill. They might even recover the AWP. I say might, it'll be very difficult to do so. And they've got themselves a couple of kills. They won't be winning the round here, but uh, three kills total and a full eco. Can't be too mad at that. Yeah, there was a TK from Dexter oh, picked up. as well. So, yeah, that, that definitely, if we framed it, not a great round for Heroic. They'll no, take definitely it, not. But, but not a great round. Yeah, scrappy, to say the least. And uh, they... It would be good to see something a bit more as a unit here. Well, they haven't done the window smoke for now. Just the one towards short. Version with the flashbang to try and... Gain some mid control here. Three players with the bomb as well. There's the flashbang and the smoke comes in eventually. Grenade follow things up, but they are getting access towards oh, short here, but that's for a gap. gap. Yeah, there must have been. Oh, this is getting a little bit awkward. Exertion, 40 found a gap, but Shush was ready to fill it. Five on three, and I, I guess they just have to go towards B and hope for the best here. They'll be smoked out. JDC playing in front of it, isolated from his teammates here. If he gets the opening frag, amazing, but he's been detected. He might just have to pull back here. Yeah, his team were kind of banking on the fact that he'd get through. You can yeah. see that Torji was running over to back him. I don't mind it either. wasn't too far behind either. He gets the opening kill, and the B bomb side is theirs. They have a chance of winning it. But uh, once he smoked off, misses the first frag, his chances are very slim of uh, breaking through. So towards underpass, they go, hoping to find some aggressive CTs, but they're battening down the hatches, Chad. They won't be hunting for anything. Well, the only way back into this is Heroic stop watching a choke point, and someone gets exactly. shot on the side of the head here. So it, it should be their round. Maybe he'll end up being a save again here. Now, a lot of people were in chat, Henry. A lot of people are tuning into ESL Pro League for week three, group C okay. of season 16. And they're happy to be here. They're going to enjoy the Counter-Strike. But well, most of them have one question. Okay. They want to know when Hooksy plays again. Well, <laughs> everybody wants to know when Hooksy's back I guess on the we, server. Week five, I suppose. They're, it's true. Yeah. Day, probably day three of week five. Yeah. Because they're already in the quarterfinals. True, first place in the group. The first team ever to go 10-0 in Isn't Brody. that crazy? After Isn't everything we went through. Insane. After all the conversations we had. And uh, just to know this round is over. They've done a pretty good job to make it as competitive as it was. JDC will survive as well, making an expensive round at least. But there we go. Hero picking it up. Just but It's landing correctly. Something yeah. as uh, standard as a window smoke. But uh, the AK-47 and some pistols walking around 13 here. So salvaging this half-hour heroic. But this will be the defining factor. A heroic able to keep it clean and tidy. They can't even get to a top nine here. Wouldn't be bad at all, would it? A great resurgence. A response from heroic here. And again, aggressive. Hunting for intel. They've been very good at that in recent rounds. And probing towards A. JDC, remember this is just a partial buy. He saved the AK-47. Had no follow-up cash. And well, have even less now. He'll be removed from the equation. I think that's one of the key details, right? Making sure you're always flashing for your A anchor to go right. for those peaks towards Tetris and Ram. So if anybody wants to tighten up their Mirage at home, that's one of the factors maybe to look at. But Yabby, do you, are you a knifer? You're not really a knifey boy. You're a shooty boy. And uh, well, there's the perfect demonstration of a shooty boy. I don't think anyone should be knifing in these sort of situations. I love it. I know you do. Because I'm not playing. Yeah, it's always when I'm commentating, no players go for those sort of picks and it never works out with the knife. It's always seen when I'm on the mic, it, it's never a good idea. Well, they want to get, to, what a blunt, everybody wants exactly, one yeah, of Exactly, okay, I guess they want to have their, Henry. they want to have their moment. I get Why it. Why has he done I, that for? I understand everyone would like to have that as part of their, their playing repertoire, but I, this, 
recommend against it. Have, have you considered, you know, there's those um, those websites where people sign up, like it's like different celebrities and stuff, and then, you know, for like $2, like you a can send a greeting. personalized message. Uh, yeah. Uh, happy birthday to Steve. Steve uh, Mahone and I'll be uh, having a birthday blunder. Yeah, exactly. You could send personalized Henry G messages. Maybe we'll have to set it up. Yeah. If you guys at home want a personalized Henry G message, use the hashtag ESL Pro League and tag Henry and I, and let us know if we get enough. Uh, if we get enough of, of, of the, we'll watch. do some for free to show you what we're capable. Oh, okay, of. Yeah. all to right. The first free. five will be free. Yeah. But we didn't do anything for free around here. No, well, we got to get the wheels in motion. You know, show people what I what I'm capable of. I do have two catchphrases, I believe. So uh, that'll be exciting. Either way, it's going to be the penultimate ultimate round here, number 14. And that's a kill, surely, exertion. He had Stan dead to rights. Perfect flashbang there from Dexter. Utility usage looking very, very oh. nice here as that's a max damage AG towards two players. And Gabby will come in and finish them both off. He wasn't aware of the second player there. And it's actually a man advantage for Mouse. Oh, that's a putting your pipe and smoke it type situation with that AG, but. Oh, look at the repeats. This constant aggression from Moroic just all across the map. They're not ready for it. Torji goes down. They're all just surging towards middle. Zershin, we know you're around here somewhere. He's going to pluck Shush out of the pack. Now they know that there's multiple members. The steps are being made. The fights keep coming. And Heroic just looking to stand and bang here. It's an absolute battlefield. And it will be Kadian coming out on top for now. But they still have JDC to contend with. He's done a this. lot of damage. He absolutely can. He has no utility, but 100 HP and has the information as to where both players are. Remember, Tess has got the kill towards underpass, and he's seen Kadian now. We'll see whether this is possible. JDC lines himself on the bomb site. Time ticking away. He just get one kill and isolate the other. That will be enough. He's doing so much work here. The pressure being applied, but it will be Kadian with the wall band to close things out. A little bit of uh, fortune going in their favor, Chad. We've seen that wall bang before, haven't we? Oh, we absolutely from, uh, have. Kadian yeah. there. He's going to scoop up this, and now they've won the half. Eight to six. They've really stalled out the onslaught from Mounds that came early. The pistol with the two conversions off the back of it. They had a couple of early dotted gun rounds to keep Heroic in the bin, financially speaking. Right. But now we're talking six rounds on the trot for Heroic here to take the lead on the half. Sure. And this is looking much better from them. To be fair, it was a rough campaign. They went down three and zero, won the first go tested one, then lost the follow-up two. So their money was broken, six two down but have fully recovered. Since they found their confidence and a bit of footing, these pushes, these uh, intel gathering missions have been spectacular. And you're right, they've got the lead here and potentially could get the 9-6 up against a full array of AK-47s. Disparity with the, the grenade as well, but uh, there's Yabby once more opening things up. That's from Shaw, takes He's down the in-game leader. He has been, He's hasn't he? kills for him, right? This He's is pulling the shoes of Refresh. If Yabby, they're able to get more out of him than they were from Refresh, we know that Tessa, Shush, Stown, they're all very plucky riflers. They can do it all. Anybody able to put up numbers for this heroic roster. And then if Kadian can find some form on the AWP, that's the next question mark. You can see Spawn littered with flashes here. That's the, uh, I want to say, luxury of having these six-round stretch, a bit of extra cash left over. I don't know if they'll come into play into a round like this, but the window boost for Exertion is he's trying to look, oh, I was going to hope for some space. There's time for now. A minute on the clock. Plenty of time for anything to happen, I would say. Sure, not looking good. Are there any silver linings out there? There's a smoke. Oh, they, they've been good at like, rolling and trading I late. The B site hasn't worked out for them, though. I'll say that much. They haven't really been granted access on really the at all. It was, the B split yeah, was decent. that was it. That's uh, screwed here, surely. How do you get past this? This is looking nice. This is an old school setup. The old bait and switch. The grenade might be a little bit deep, but actually it's perfect. That's about 70 damage total there. The Molotov. Only two players here on the CT side. Back, but uh, here we go. Yabby has been brought online. It's a beautiful B set up there. Exertion yeah, with nothing right. left to do. It's going to be 9-6. What a tremendous comeback that was, Chad, you have yeah. to say. Beautiful stuff from her. It's what you want to see here. We know that they have the bogey pit coming up. And the aggressive CT pushes worked out tremendously well for them. And they have a solid lead here as we move over to their T-side campaign. Yeah, they've got three decoys as well. So this is curious in itself. I, I want to see what I'm those are. a decoy are fan. Showing. You know that. Yeah, they don't get too much love, and the one expert odds are loving heroic. I guess it would be like presenting grenades, entering a bomb site, baiting out utility before you went in. Perhaps that would be a cool way to do it. I guess they're fortunate if you're mouse that right. there is no utility to get baited out as five cents True. of Kevlar being purchased. But you bang on with the concept right there. You see them flying over the uh, over the sky. You hear the ping get pulled. Maybe yeah. you over rotate with a defensive smoke or Molotov. This is uh, really feeling things out here. This is. Uh, a safe first date. Yeah. It's all quiet on the Western Front for now, though. We'll see whether Heroic 
have got something interesting up their sleeve. Towards the underpass we go. A split looking likely. They've got a single smoke here. Going to be deployed right here, right now, towards that connector position. Frozen trying to body block it any way he can, try and uh, get a gap if possible. But if anything, it's worked out perfectly. They've taken that vision away, and we'll be able to get inside connector. Oh, that flash is brutal. Can he get out? It was close. Kadian makes a bit of a meal of it. Next, another player towards the CT spawn position, but it's Stan and Yabi opening things up towards A. This is looking very promising indeed. Torshi with a lot to do. Oh, can he see the the arm, but uh, the spins are coming in, and it's just Torshi now. And Stan will close things down with the P250. A nice slow round there. A smoke that comes through. A very decent flashbang up towards the window boost as well. And uh, it was just a snowball from that point. Exist is loving up. Kadian's, you know, he's, he's calm, he's collected here. It's the first game, it's the, the first map of this best of three in a game which I think a lot of people may have, would have had pegged in about a 45-55, maybe 50-50, yeah. all things considered. We did see Heroic play at Blast, right there, one of the partner teams over there. Uh, and then we got to see, well, Mao's play with Bemis earlier qualified for the RMRs. Now, actually, everybody's fired getting fired up. up. I, I thought <laughs> they were pretty calm. Uh, I thought they were as well, but uh, that meant a lot to them. I guess I, guess I was wrong. Uh, all right, let's no, get fired no up as well. Admitting that one. All let's right. go. It's down, out a ramp now. The AK in his hand. The scout from Torji is going to spot one up towards the palace position now. Pressure applied towards middle as bullets are coming through the board. Dexter, oh. he's going to have an absolute zinger. But Yabi draws one back. Desert Eagles are out in full force and they are singing oh. loud and proud. Exertion yeah. with the double. That's through the smoke and they've actually got the man advantage. Four versus two. Torshi can end things right here, right now. The scout shot eludes him and maybe a slight advantage to Heroic with a bomb planted. CT spawn control. They can definitely pull this one back in their favor. A lot of damage being done. It's down to Shush though. If he could be flashed in, that would be great, but there's no utility to speak of. He'll just have to duck and weave and box his way out of this one. Spots the first player. That's an easy kill. Frozen will give it up, but he's just going to stay alive here. Rosen's doing a great job. He's keeping the focus. Both of them are coming to clear this while space is being taken by the other CTs. They're in the site now. Time is the biggest issue. There's a kit on Zershin here. The Galil, they know where that is, but they don't know where Yabby is. The left, right, good night. It's going to go the other way, and the defuse comes through. The rifle scooped up, and a great round for Mouse to bring themselves back into this matchup. That is absolutely huge there. They'll recover two AK-47s and a Galil, but it's exertion. The man of the moment there. The double deagle kill. Incredible precision. Dexter opening up the fragging here as well. The in-game leader with a strong shot. And this was spectacular. Dang. That was the shot, the 90-degree flick. Oh. Barely could see him. <laughs> Not sure if he could. But uh, we'll take it either way. And then they had a kit, as you mentioned. They can apply a lot of pressure with the fake defuse. The scout rumbles the players towards the CT spawn position. It's a full eco here. Heroic will have to buy up next round. The pauses on those replays are great, right? Because they show you where the crosshair was just before they course correct the pinpoint position shot. So uh, the Deagle is one of the best weapons to see that with that, the AK and the USP, right? And sure. I guess the, the AWP flick can be pretty gnarly too. But this should be Farming Simulator uh, featuring Maus. They're all sitting on their tractors. They're, uh, what do you do to the field? Do you, do you plow the field? You plow the fields, you do. Um, you they need to harvest the crops. Harvest the crops. Um, you need to sow the seeds. Sow the seeds. Water the flowers. Well, this, <laughs> this farmers don't really have everything, flowers, right? So, so the crops, the crops are heroic, right? Uh, so that harvest is going to, it's going to give them a bit of money, right? Because they're going to sell this stuff. So the money, and the, you know, CC, I'm trying to make this work. It, it's really working. Thanks. I've been, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll work on that. Yeah. It, I, there's something the there. Yeah, for sure. I'm not really a farmer by trade. You like to wear a pair of dungarees though every now and then. Yeah, that's it. Straw hat. Denim dungarees and a straw hat on a sunny day. That's the way it should Barefoot. be. Barefoot. Exactly. Uh, that, that would suit you down to a T, I'd say. But, and I have uh, them cut off in shorts. Into shorts. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> that would be a very strong look. <laughs> so, five players, four heroic towards middle, as you mentioned. A full ego here. Should make light work of it. That is mouse sports, and uh, indeed they will. One kill picked up, and that's about what you'd expect. To be fair, it's Dexter that goes down. He's currently on 6 and 12, and uh, we reach... Round number 19. So, uh, as mentioned, it was the full eco for Heroic. They will have a pretty weak buy here, all things considered. They'll have the AKs, armor, no AWP, and uh, bare bones utility, I would say. Let's see what they can make of that. What a great start for my fantasy team either. I have Tessus, Shush, Torji, and Dexter. So, uh, yeah. 
It, it's all right. There's, it's a long week ahead. Okay, lovely spot here by Jay the Gun Watcher. You can see the vent hasn't been broken. We know that's the warning system. It's their boost window and they want to flank CT spawn over towards the B or the A site. They will need to break that vent. So keep that in the back of your mind. We'll see if it comes into play. As Mao's have operated with quite an aggressive A ramp stance. It is going to be Torji at the top of Connect appearing down and over towards B. Exertion on short and JDC up towards the B apartments just peeking for any info. But right now, Heroic, they're not in a rush. They're not getting stuck into early fights. They are working on this mid control as a first smoke and connector smoke in unison are locked out. Taking basic map control here as they swing forward for the fight. Torji over the top of the smoke, the flames, the kill. That's Tessa in the dirt. Yeah, very nice work there. Didn't cost them anything. A freebie, if you will. And they've got the man advantage. This is their pick as well, Mirage. Looking to tie things up. Find a couple more rounds. And the Abbey's been incredibly impressive. He's got 19 kills so far. And actually got full control of the A ramp. Cadian he could be in trouble here. They've got the smoke deployed. That'll buy them another 20 seconds. And time is of the essence at this point as we hit the 40 second mark. There's even another smoke for the CTs over towards Ticket right now. You can see that on your radar. Right. If you take a look at that at home, everybody, if this does Indeed. get into a, a, a diffuse. Oh, oh, this boost is perfect. Dexter's going to take both. <laughs> oh. It looked good. It looked like they'd found the solution to the problem. Yeah, I think you're right. Yabi will fight his way out of the palace, but uh, unfortunately for him, throws it's got up on the lock and key. Star, the last player remaining here. An awkward fight towards the window. Nothing he can do with it. And that's a very, very clean round for Mouse Sports. Dexter can't believe his luck. Yeah, that's beautiful. Two easy kills right there. The missed shot on the boost. The tower falls. Dexter takes out both of them there. And good job from the in game leader. This is the opening kill from Torji here. Seemed too easy. He was able to get in, get out, get away. Oh, and that nade was also coming into play. So, <laughs> it was wow. the end for them. Well, air strike towards the A ramp. And Heroic are going to let these last few rounds slide. They've just got Desert Eagles, no armor here. And uh, just going to be probing things out, see if they can find some one digs. But I dare say they won't get given the opportunity. It'll be very difficult to open up the A site. Yeah, he fancies it though. Shush will have to sit back and wait. And there it is. Without the armor, even a couple of licks of the bullets will take you down to almost nothing. Yeah, so here's the deal, right? On the T side, we're not going to expect so much from Shush unless it's a clutch because he's, he's one of these more anchor players on the CT side. So he's a bit quiet at the moment. It's going to be interesting where this firepower on the T side comes from. Kadian with the AWP searching for kills might have to activate here. We know that Stown and Tessus like to get stuck into the thick of it. Yabby's already been able to display a bit of that. Back towards this second letter of the alphabet. Lots of control over towards the A ramp for Dexter. He can even start getting them to cheat over to help out Exertion and JDC on this B site. And there's flashes, sure, but they're going to have to be perfect flashes. Well, Shush will go down and confirm that no one else is there. And you're right, here come the flashes. I dare say just flash this point and JDC fully affected. So they have been given a, a chance to get out of the window here, but uh, Kadian finds a great shot. Can they find anything more? I don't think the bomb will be going down. That pretty much confirms it. JDC keeps things nice and clean as they go 10-10. We're all tied up, Chad. Well, this is the thing with this series, right? It almost felt like a three-mapper, regardless of the maps. I, I didn't think it was going to matter too much. We've just two thrown in the mix, though. The curveball. If Aurora can find Mirage, maybe Mouseboards weren't expecting it. I guess that's the only caveat to that. Well, I was talking about it before, right? I, I had a little bit of a look. I think it was last year in September was the last time Heroic had, had played Dust 2. Yeah. And then it was earlier in uh, the RMRs this year where Mouse had also played Dust 2. But other than that, it's not a map that these two teams frequent, which is why we were talking about the change. And speaking of change, aggressive down middle towards she's going to find Stown. Freebie almost. Nothing that could be done in response and a little bit of damage there from the residual flames. Flashbang towards the A ramp and... It's going to be looking towards Palace here. Throws a grenade over towards that position as well. And we've actually got pretty much everyone in towards the spawn. Yabby towards the underpass. There's a smoke towards the window position. Nicely thrown. The spin on it. Doing the difficulty level quite hard there, Cadian, with that one. Yeah. But if Torji keeps finding these openings, it's going to make life very difficult for Heroic here. They have regrouped a little bit earlier. There's still a minute on the clock. And I think they're just going to try and brute force their way out of apartments. On the fade, Torji's crossed. Like ships in the nigh in this connector position for now. Yabby, he can be the difference maker here. He may have found a gap. Torji ready for it. And the AWP up close and personal with the scope in play. Stalls the frozen. He's going to do it himself. And there's Torji for the final frag. That seemed way too easy. Very clean, very concise. The opening pick there from Torji. 
wasn't even challenged there whatsoever. Just a freebie on his plate. Uh, he did very well to get the second kill towards the connector. I can't believe he hit that shot, but you're right. Uh, didn't even have to break his sweatings up with the third. AK 47s available on the CT side as well. Things just get harder and harder for Heroic here. They'll be here with the Tech 9s, PG 50s, a partial buy, if you will. And Kadian just trying to see if he could beat the utility towards B. Make a little bit of noise there as well. Keep them interested on that side of the map. Stop them pushing forward. Sure, should be towards the palace. They have got a lot of utility here, Chad. To be fair, they don't want to do anything too quickly. And that's why I think that Kadian is so far ahead here yeah. because he's just trying to bait out utility and exactly. get information. He's making that noise on purpose. Well, I, I assume they do want to finish. Wow, I, they could finish either side with all this util, right? You could you could theory craft executes on both sides. Very simple to do an A execute, CT. You got the up down of stairs and also the cross foot connector slash jungle. You could smoke deep towards connector and jungle, jump and swarm stairs, try and isolate a defender there as the CT smoke comes into play. It is looking like A. There's also three Molotovs in play. You can get one dark, you can get one in towards sandwich, you can get one firebox. There's a lot of options here for heroic. Yeah. You said you wanted to see something a bit more of a set piece mentality, Chad. You've certainly got it. Here's the execution. Can they find the opening kill? They have isolated the player towards connector. That's exertion. Dexter, he's been ran down. He had no idea, blind. On the bomb side, Torshi now will have to be activated. He's got a player right in front of him as he jump up on ticket booth. He thinks better of it. Needs the backup from his teammates here. And they've got a lot of territory on the map. Exertion fighting back though. Can he find the second kill? They're being overwhelmed. Those are drawn one back here. They haven't just scrambled into this. They're taking the fights as they're coming their way. And oh, that's a huge kill from JDC. A two on three situation. JDC low, frozen forward, and that's all the kills. Now, look flustered for a moment. But they look they were keeping their cool, right? Mouse were keeping their cool. They no weren't panic. just running through the smokes. They realized they lost Dexter. It's all good. We still have the, the number advantage, the sorry, the weapon advantage as well as the util advantage. The number advantage went the other way, but against the pesky pistols, not too much of a concern. Yeah, all things considered. Only two players going down. Sure, they're gonna they gave it the bomb palm, but they were buying up regardless. So uh exertion didn't panic there, didn't force the issue, waited for the backup to come through, and uh, JDC certainly delivered in that respect. Frozen. Is closing out the round there, gets a defuse, and uh, they've got quite a, a solid lead here. 12 to 10 after being 9 6 down a half. Mouse Sports looking very handy on the CT side of their map pick. Orb of Kadian this time looking for any jump spots towards the B apartments. Probably a bit of proving as well, I imagine, for this Mouse roster with the change they made last minute with the Bemis situation. Also bringing in more players from the academy to right. say, hey, look, we were winning in the academy leagues. There's a reason we brought these boys, even though, you know, there's some conversation about experience. Are they necessarily up for the task? Well, this group is a fantastic place for them to ply their trade. It's looking great so far, Chad, if you ask me. The CT side has been a little bit short of perfect, I would say. Just one round given up. That was the pistol and uh, an A execution. So another set piece here from Heroic. And they've got all five players on this side of the map. Dexter. He's under the balcony for now, and Frozen will join him. Key piece of information, they just boosted up towards the B balcony right now with Torji's AWP. So if he calls it clear, th this could free JDC up, but it might be too little too late. 50 seconds remaining on the clock. Execute now being lined up. Surely they Molotov this spot. Here it comes. That's the first kill for Dexter. And I feel like they know Frozen is there as well. Yeah, they absolutely do. He'll be going down. That HE is going to find him no problem whatsoever. And advantage for Heroic for the first time in any of these gun rounds, to be honest with you. They still have to deal with Exertion. It's been a nuisance, a thorn in their side. As the smoke subsides here, they've actually missed the flashbang, but not the shot. That's great work from Kadian. AWP secures the round. Torshi, nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I was ready though. I was like, yeah, Mouse, I'm about to take it to the next level. Yeah, and do the whole thing with the Academy players. Sure. We can really build into something there. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll workshop it. We'll go out by the pool. We'll grab a... Uh, What's, what's a cocktail people have by the pool? Mojito, maybe? A pina colada? Yeah, I'm not really into the, the cocktails. We could just have a beer. That would work, too. Cheeky beer, yeah. Oh, with a couple of ideas. Brainstorm some stuff. Yeah, I can't imagine you with uh, a big fruity cocktail. Slushy with cocktail with, with straws. With umbrellas and straws and uh, sparklers coming out of it. That's not really your style, Not is really it? a me thing. That's uh, Torshi, as we mentioned, saving the AWP. Much better from her. You said you wanted to see those set pieces, Chad, and they, they seem to be working for them. Uh, a Off bit of a... No, yeah, like a bit of a strange setup in terms of like they went for the, uh, the double. Unfortunately, they got the opening kill, but having to extinguish the flame suggested there was a second player there, and uh, he had no chance whatsoever. So I doubt they'll be running that setup again. That's heroic. Close the gap.
Well, here we go. Maybe another set piece, Jab. It's working for him. All five players head towards the A side of the map once again. Torshi boosted up towards the B apartment. And as I mentioned, though, he'll get no intel unless he pushes forward. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I think you're right. No presence towards middle whatsoever. Here it comes. The wave, the onslaught, the U2 is get just coming over. Gets stuck in. Frozen will be the first line of defense, and he'll get the first kill, but I doubt he gets the second. It's going to be a back and forth affair here. Sasha will maintain the lead, and he's done a boatload of damage as well. Four versus three, but the walking wounded make their way in towards the A bomb site. And uh, just a matter of time before they give this one up. The bomb's in a very awkward spot on top of Tetris, and uh, Clamp is closing tighter and tighter. Flanks coming in from T spawn. CT's with the man advantage, and they just got to look for picks here. They do recover the bomb, managing to jump up there, so not too bad. It didn't That's... look like it was in a great spot, did it? No, they've only got a single Molotov remaining, and the CTs don't have to push anymore. Uh, look at all the positions. use of for JDC. You've got uh, Molly on Dexter as well. It, as they try and make their way into the site here to, to try and plan it. Oh, Dexter is spreading, and that's a great shot. All right, maybe that's something. Still very unlikely here, but a good shot from Kadian. Ah, it's turned into a leg shot back. So I'm getting excited, maybe all for naught here. The rifle exertion steps out. The bomb drops once again, and he'll even find the last kill of the round. So... Maintaining this two-round advantage, uh, Mouse, 13 to 11 now, just three more to close. And a good adjustment that was made. Absolutely. Didn't get caught with the pants down that time. It was the A execution once again from Heroic, but uh, Exertion and Co. hold on tight. Managed to send them packing. No bomb planted, but as you mentioned, the money was pretty good. Squads leading into the RMRs. Absolutely. The Rio Major is in about 47 days. The RMRs in about 20 days, so it's all going to come extremely quick. Quick as you like, all happening here in sunny Malta. As we get into round 26, Shush, he spotted a gap here. I dare say he's going to exploit it. A beautiful sequence there, Chad. Oh. He does tremendous work on this B bomb site. Call it done. This round's over. Takes matters into his own hands and uh, actually going to finish up towards A as well. well. This is a little bit sketch because Dex is still here. Yeah, they've actually. I don't think they're ready for Dexter right now. They have to be considering this at some point. Dexter's going to come in. Oh, they've heard the steps just in time. And they've poor Dexter. Day. Yeah, that could have fallen apart very quickly. Well spotted. But if he denies a plant and gets that second kill, who knows what kind of tomfoolery would have ensued. But Frozen, not much to be said about his position towards CT spawn, but that was all about Shush there. Spots the gap and exploits it. I did mention you wouldn't be getting too much from him on the T side, but that little volley of flashes he threw into the B bomb site with the support of his teammates was fantastic. So he had no issue just jumping in first, launching himself into those duels. Isolates multiple members here and some tidy shots to boot, but Frozen's hanging around. He doesn't have a kit here. They he would have into a vac. There's no time anyway. So as much as it would have been fun, yeah, I think we will just leave this one. That's going to be 13 to 12. We're back to a one-round game. Well, difficult to find consistent results with the one-man attack towards B, but they'll take it all day long there. Well done to Shush. Very impressive. The second kill especially. Looks very calm and controlled, if you ask me. As uh, we enter round number 26, here's the replay. That flashbang towards the site. Spotted him as well off that flash. Yeah, you're right. Big kill on JDC. Eradicates exertion. And it's actually an A finish, which could have fallen apart, but uh, that was the kill that saved the day from Stan. Well done. That's one of the moments where the comms just go like nuts. Like, sounds like, see, 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 see. You yeah. know, like, you're, you're trying to plant <laughs> the bomb, and you hear a step. Like, boys, cover me. Oh, that's a nice nade right there. Going to soften up too. Is Borgi having a little bit of a looky loo? He's Torgy, in the face of Snow right now. The barrel's been spotted, but the no. shot is crisp. Quick stuff. Torgi, knife out. Dead to rise. Yabby gets one back, but this opener is going to round throw the round into a bit of disarray here. Absolutely. Whatever set piece Heroic had in mind, that's what's been working out for them. Now I have to recalculate. Work out where they stand in the round. Hard clear and here. Yabby might be good for one. I dare say two will be... A tall order gets nothing. Exertion. The probe towards the B apartments works out perfectly. They've actually got a decent man advantage here. Four versus three. And we've just got Tessas making his way through middle. And get himself in towards Venero. Good gap that he's found here, though. This is a very good gap that he's found because if he keeps making his way up short, it's just the one man towards the back of the site. Exertion. He's on his lonesome. He's been left to his own devices here. The other two coming in from the B apartments and the rotation. Starting to come over now, but will it be here in time? Zershin now spotted towards the back of the bench, and Molly's going to come. It's going to flush him forward into a fight. It's too deep. It's too deep. He can stand and deliver here. Tessus will still get it. But it's a three on three, and the kills keep coming. Shush, the perfect timing. This is looking rough for Mouse. It absolutely is. But the money situation has to come into question now. Do they go for this? Dexter's towards the B apartments, or Frozen, I should say. 
We'll see whether they can find anything to justify going for the full retake at this point. I would say probably not worth it. They've got an incendiary. If Dexter can find a shot or if Frozen can do something like that, that's the kill towards the van. Now, they might as well go for it. It's up to the AWP to defend. So to come right down to the Y here. Frozen, can he find the second? He absolutely can. Cadian fighting on the back foot, and it's fallen apart. Doesn't have a, oh, I was going to say, he doesn't have a kit. He can scoop one up. That was just in time there for Dexter. So he's going to get the clutch in the next to his name. But that was Frozen. That was some great shooting from him coming through the apartments. And that was around the Heroic. It didn't really feel like they had too much of a chance. The fact they get the plant, the fact they make that interesting, that was good from the Danes, but better here from the international squad. They scoop it up. It, it wasn't the most convincing, but right now, 14 to 12, just a two-round lead and two rounds for this map to come to its close it all started with this little tactical push towards the b apartments as well actually found themselves in a difficult spot we were speculating as to whether they had to save but frozen manages to get some very quick kills towards the van and they defuse 14 to 12. Oof. you can see what it means to them this is the big game in the group they are really invest like this is great right you know no one's coming in here going yeah th these are games that we can just slouch on everyone is quite fired up here this morning Abby versus Torji, the battle as old as time. Yeah, and he's been hitting these close range shots. Yeah, I'll be nice and patient though. Same goes for the rest of his team, spread out across the map. All quiet for now. Does Torji want to push forward here? See if he can get intel at least. Teammates starting to clear underpass. And not really any utility thrown on the T side whatsoever, chat. Who blinks first? This is an observer's worst nightmare. The fact that these players are so close Dexter's to each other. Dexter's himself up. A lamb to the slaughter right here. Yabby should have this. Oh, every day of the week. Dexter's going to take that one. Only had one angle to clear. He Torji had the other. Thank you very much. He damage really as well. That's quite insane. Caught sleeping. Now Sports looking for map points here. They've got the five on four. Frozen. Hearing these jumps towards middle, and I dare say he'll do some damage there, but unfortunately not. Steps in the flames. Tess as well. Flash will take him down. Up to Torshi here. Oh, another flashback that's very effective. Dexter hidden towards towards Sandwich as well. So Torshi goes down. He'll have to deliver. That's a great first shot to open things up. And Dexter, there he is. He's activated from the sidelines. And they know exactly where Stan resides here. 20 seconds remaining. Can't get the kill. Exertion to close things out. And they have found map points on the CT side here. Looking very promising to pick up this first map. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. We've got 22 kills in the column for Frozen. 20 for Exertion with this squad. Getting the promotion up to the main team. Galil's AK-47s. Bare Bones Utility. Round number 28. A tall order for the Dane. Says Torshi continues the aggression towards middle. Adium Molotov to taking a lot of damage here, Chad. I dare say he's going down and indeed frozen. Will burn him to a crisp. Overstayed his welcome there, didn't he? That is a very bad death here from the in-game leader to give away all things considered. And oh, they might keep coming, but down. It's actually going to find a kill. There's no immediate response. There's no fight back just yet. Mouse. They can't avenge Torzi. He will have to sit and wait as it is a pretty early four on four with a minute 20 left on the clock. Usha has got this room towards Sandwich here, so investigating over towards A. He could call the teammates back. There's still enough time for him to go around the world and help assault this A bomb site. I want to come up connector, and that is going to be a bit of an issue. Dexter and Frozen are both having quizzical glances, and there's some info. Frozen he can seen swing. enough, but here right. comes Shush the peak on out. He's got the info. They know Dexter's here as well. One and done, and they're into the site. Two on three. Exertion now. He's seen two players putting pressure on the site. The bomb is getting planted default. Well, here we go then. At three versus two, Exertion, JDC, trying to find the map victory right here, right now. They're going for it. The AK-47. That's investigating towards the bomb site. 20 kills to his name so far. We need a couple more to guarantee this round. Stan towards CT. I better get down here. If he clears CT, this is a free kill. Stan's not gonna be ready for this. Oh, oh is he no! ever though? He is ready, and that's an insane shot. It looked like he was shooting the sky, Chad. What on earth happened there? Stan with the spidey senses tingling, and now JDC, you better save, mate. The loss bonus, there's none of it. They're coming for you. Oh, They're taking the fights. They want his gun, and Stan, the hero of the oh, round, will get the final kill. They're still in it. They are still in it. Oh. Just, just about. I don't know how he hits that shot. We need to see the replay. It looked like the mouse fell off the, the desk. <laughs> He's going up into the sky. He lo loses control of the garden hose, but somehow a stray bullet will connect. And uh, we've got to this see it. it. So, yeah, look, he's got... What? <laughs> What's it gone up there It's for? like he's got a hair on the sensor. Yeah, you know? it's exactly. Got... I, I thought it would look strange, but nothing like that. 
Good lord. So, All right. We are going to have a 15-14 game chat. This is a full eco. Now sports with the B stack, USPs, P250s. And uh, in we go, Yabby. Perfect weapon for the job here, the MAC-10, but the flashbang's pretty decent as well. Trying to work out if the stack does reside here. It does, but uh, they should be absolutely points. fine. Well, she gives a little bit of trouble that way, but uh, overall, round completed. 15-14, it all comes down to number 30. All the rounds here, maybe the bonus rounds on the horizon. Yeah, well, Dexter's gonna get found out here any second. There it is, and just the one man standing off Frozen. But the, the issue is, it's only the 1900 is the loss bonus into the next, right? So when you take a look, they're still gonna be skimp on. It's gonna be so close here, right? We're gonna be talking ooh, just over the 4K mark for most of the players. So it's not gonna be the best buy you've ever seen. They're still gonna be working with some emissions. It's not We've gonna got... be a, a perfect round. JDC with 4100 right now. Does he do the AWP for, for Torji? That's what I'm thinking. And um, Frozen is actually making this quite interesting. I don't know what's happening, but if he gets a third, God, that would be a nightmare. But uh, he gets himself $600 on top of uh, the money Chad mentioned. So there's the AWP, and it will be purchased and thrown over to Torshi. Okay. And he's been great at the opening picks, to be fair to him. So you want that to be online. And can they close things out? Cadian will also purchase the AWP. Remember, they had MAC-10s in the previous round, knowing they're up against the full eco. It's not going to be a kit here unless Dexter chooses a... Okay, he's gone for flashes over the kit. So there's no kit. They come back the to the side. That's the biggest question right now. A minute and 50 seconds to find out. Well, well, well. What a game it's been to open things up here at Group C. A great showing from both teams on Mirage. Heroic just need one round now to take us to overtime. Back and forth we go. Looks like they want to send down in here to, to have a gander. Just see what's on the other side. Try and identify this setup, at least apply some pressure, open a gap elsewhere. Loading with these flashes, Cadian's stalwart down towards the underpass. Torji's been facilitated over towards B. So a bit of a read here from both teams. How's a gambling that it may be this finish? Torji will lob out his smoke. It's gonna buy them a little bit of time, but the fight can come no matter what. I wouldn't say this is indecision from Heroic right now, but they're still trying to work out where they do want to conclude this round. CT's running out of fuel. A couple of smokes remain. The spin ball from Cadian towards the window. Hits the mark, as you would expect. And here we go towards middle. Maybe looking towards that B split, Chad. We have got Yabi towards the, the B apartments. Or oh, she's still here. He still is, you're right. The strong B setup right now for Mouse. Very strong. That's the first. This is just going to fall apart for Heroic. I think they're going into the AWP. Torji's grabbed one. JDC, they didn't account for him. Poking his head out the window. Hello. Thank you very much. Shush now out of Palace. The last man standing at one on five with 20 seconds. The bomb down mid. I don't think so. He's grabbed the first, but that's going to be the last. Exertion come 